Introducing the all new Corolla. I mean, I'm concerned anytime we lose any staff. So, uh, you know, I, I, the, I, I don't know if this is a phenomenon or a trend uh, that will continue, but of course that concerns me. Um, if we start competing for the same resources, Kevin, it's going to be bad for us, bad for them, uh, bad for health care on the island in general. GMH Administrator Joseph Verga is hoping for a cooperative relationship with the new Guam Regional Medical City Hospital, which is nearing completion now in Dededo. But he is concerned that as GRMC steps up its recruiting efforts, GMH will end up short-staffed. main concern at the moment has to do with competing for the same resources. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that sometime soon we can get together and, and uh, you know, both of us to really talk about how we can work together to, to you know, uh, avoid that situation for both of us. Are you planning to compete with GMH? Our goal is not to compete. Our goal is to work with GMH so that we can help each other out. Guam's a small island and we need to work cooperatively. We hope that once we have all of our physicians hired so that we know exactly what we're offering, we can then talk to them about collaborating, sharing physicians for different services. Chief Operating Officer at GRMC, Gloria Long, says that their goal is to focus on providing medical services that GMH does not currently provide, services that force many to go off-island to seek treatment. We've made a concerted effort not to recruit from GMH in the sense that we know that the hospital, Guam Memorial Hospital, has to exist for us to be uh, existing as well. And the knowledge, I understand that they are going to, have, going to have a lot of the same services that we do, like labor and delivery, med surge, pediatrics, ER. Um, to what degree and, you know, depth, I, I don't know yet. And in those cases where there may be some overlapping services, GRMC Chief Medical Officer Dr. Mike Cruz says it's clear that GMH doesn't currently have enough beds to handle the need now. Need for additional bed space here. Uh, I mean, I think that uh, our estimate is certainly, if you look at the estimate, there's a need for additional 200 beds at, at a minimum. And when you look at the, on a daily basis, the census at GMH, it's uh, always 100% occupied, if not more. Sometimes in the emergency room, we have 20 people waiting for rooms. So obviously there's a need for additional space. And so, so even if you are providing similar services, Correct. You're going to have beds right. too. And, and again, exactly right. And so uh, our goal is to work cooperatively in, in, in ensuring that at the end of the day, we're taking care of the people of Guam that otherwise have to seek it elsewhere. In all, GRMC is planning to hire 450 employees. 53 are doctors, and so far, they've hired 35, 16 of them from GMH. Of that 450, 53 are doctors. The rest of the staff are nurses, lab techs, radiologists. So far, uh, we have hired and offered positions to 16 people who used to work at the Guam Memorial Hospital. Uh, and not everybody has started with us. Of those 16, nine are part-timers and seven are full-timers. We haven't changed anything that we're doing as a result of GRMC, except, um, you know, as uh, if the trend of losing staff continues, of course, that will, um, uh, that will compound uh, the situation. Uh, you know, although I don't, I haven't seen a mass trend yet, but, um, you know, I, I am concerned enough to, to, to be keeping a close eye on it and a close watch on it. And both Long and Dr. Cruz point out that it's tough for them to recruit staff from GMH because the public hospital offers better benefits. I mean, quite frankly, uh, Kevin, we've we've had difficulty even trying to get staff here because some of the other institutions, such as GMH, uh, offer better packages than we do. And so uh, there's a need for both institutions to exist on Guam and to complement each other's uh, our specialties. We know that the hospital, Guam Memorial Hospital, has to exist for us to be uh, existing as well. And we need to have a symbiotic relationship as we go forward so that all the needs can be met. If GMH closed tomorrow, we don't have enough beds in our facility to meet the demand of the people. So we both have to operate. You need each other. We Correct. need each other. Um, I have no doubt that we will sit down and uh, begin to talk about how we can better work together, um, you know, moving forward. GRMC is still on track for opening before the end of the year. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.